Hello and welcome to TechTood. In this video, we will be learning domain relational calculus. We will understand the basics of domain relational calculus and we will solve some problem. Till now, we have learned tuple relational calculus, which was another formal query language, and domain relational calculus is also formal query language. Actually, these formal query languages are used by non experts who cannot write SQL queries, okay, but they can communicate to expert by writing these formal queries. So we have SQL and SQL is based on tuple relational calculus which we have already learned while we also have something like SQL which is based on domain relational calculus and it is called query by example. Query by example. So we call it QBE okay and it is based on domain relational calculus now what is the basic difference between tuple relational calculus and domain relational calculus so in domain relational calculus we will be operating over domain of attributes while in tuple relational calculus if you remember we used to operate over the tuples okay and what was the range of tuple range of tuple was the tuples belonging to a particular relation so for a tuple variable t it used to range for all the tuples for a relation r okay now here for domain relational calculus we will have domain variable like tuple variable in tuple relational calculus we will have domain variable okay and it will be ranging over the domain of attribute okay so let's write it down so to form a relation of n degree we need n domain variable what I mean to say here is basically let's understand the query format so this is our query format and if we need to form a relation of n variable that is n degree relation so when I'm saying to form an n degree relation it means that whenever we do a query the output of the query is also a relation right so so this is a n degree relation which is the output of this query and here we have condition over those domain variables so these are domain variables x1 x2 x3 all are domain variables and these are condition over domain variables so I should write condition over domain variable right now let's understand all these things with an example. Here in this example we have been given employee relation and department relation. So employee has some attribute and department has some attribute right. So to start with in domain relational calculus we have to take domain variables okay. So what we will do for each domain or for each mm, for each attribute of relation we will take a domain variable so let's take a for first name b for last name and similarly for others here for department also we will take domain variable fine so a B, C and X, Y, Z. These are domain variables. Now see the query. We have to output name and address. So as it is saying name, we have to take both first name and last name, right? So the output will be name first name last name and address so what are the corresponding domain variables a b and e right so we will write a b e it is similar to tuple relational calculus if you remember right we used to write t dot attribute name okay here as we have assigned individually each attribute a domain uh, variable a domain variable so we will just write the name of domain variables fine now 
the condition so we have used a b e right now we will write all the attributes with the quantification of there exist okay so there exist c there exist d okay so all the so all the other domain variables of employee relation we will write as there i mean we will write with the quantification of there exist okay now it's very similar to tuple relational calculus here what we used to do first we used to first declare that these domain variables belonging to a particular relation right so similarly here also we will declare that these variables are belonging to a relation so we will write employee and then these domain variables that is a b c d e f g and h fine now we have to write the other conditions that is we have to check name equal to foo bar right so we will check first name should be equal to foo and last name should be equal to bar so we will write we know what is the domain variable corresponding to first name a right and what is the domain variable cor corresponding to last name b so we will write and a equal to foo and b equal to bar okay so that's it very simple right now here in this query if you concentrate we have only used a and b all right we have taken existential quantifier over all the domain variables which was not used to output not used in output but we have used here only a and b so the rule is that the domain variables which we are not using inside this bracket these this bracket we can choose to not write it here right so these all are optional because we are not using any of c d f g and h okay so while solving problem if you see something like this don't panic these are optional it can be there or somebody can choose not to write fine so we can write it something like this a b and e while writing condition we can just write employee and then all domain variables of employee that is a b h and a equal to foo and b equal to bar okay very simple right so here we are taking domain variable a and b and eventually we are also saying that it should be a should be equal to foo and b should be equal to bar right so one can also choose to write directly foo and bar here while defining domain variables okay so we can also also write it like this employee and then instead of writing domain variable a we can just take who then instead of writing b domain variable we can write bar okay and then other domain variables like c
okay so this is also correct method of writing domain relational calculus fine so i hope the basics of domain relational calculus is clear till now now in the next video we will be solving few more complex queries for example we will be performing relation joins where we have to fetch data from other relations also and compare okay and we have to use existential quantifiers so all these we will be solving uh, in the next video so see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to TechTut.